Hi guys, if you want to ask these questions to your family members, pick up the and family edition at thiskindeep.com slash shop. What's one experience you wish I never had and why? Well, I mean, we can go into uh, World War II. <laughs> That's an experience you might wish I never had. Yes. Yeah. Marks you for the rest of your life. I will ask you questions forever about it. And I will answer. And I'll never fully understand what that felt like and what it feels like. You know, some of the things I, I remember, we were going, we were traveling, when you could still travel a little bit um, from the south of France. And we were in the station and the train stopped. And uh, my mother said uh, she wanted to go and look for a bathroom. And she went down, and I think we went down on the, the, the platform of the train, of the, of the station. And suddenly, the train is going to leave. So there is a whistle. And the uh, train people say the train is leaving. Get back on the train. And where is my mother? I, I can feel it now. What my, my father didn't know what to do. We had our valise on the train. And uh, we could, of course, get on the train and get out the next station. Until I saw her coming out of the building on the side and getting into the train, even over there, that didn't matter, but getting on the train. I was, what was, I was 11 years old, 10 years old. Or, I mean, that Terry. was devastating, devastating. And that, that has stayed with me until today. I'm devastated now, yeah. thinking about it. A couple of things like that during the war happened that were... Do you want me to tell you another one? Please. So, um, before we went into hiding, we slept in different places. My mother stayed in the apartment. My father went to sleep at some friends. Mm -hmm. And I went to sleep next door to our apartment it was a boarding school for girls and i went there every evening and came back home in the morning and i went there one night and there are the girls that i have seen the few days before and suddenly there is one girl that i know and i look at her i say hi Thea, how are you she said, I'm very sorry, but I'm not there. Wow. And I look at her, I say, but you are Thea, Thea Gold, why? You are the friend of Ruth. I am not Thea. And it's like my whole world went crumbling down. How old she were you? was, I was uh, 11. How disorienting. She was afraid. Of course. She was under a different name. She was Jacqueline Smith. I can't imagine. Yeah, that was, that was quite amazing. <laughs> and also coming back the next morning, going upstairs, wondering if I will find my mother in the apartment. She could have been taken away. Anytime. At any time. You know, these are not the worst. I mean, there were worse things that happened that did not have the impact on me. As my mother, as Thea Gold, I am not Thea Goldreyer. It's so interesting that those two stories 
are the ones that affected you the most? Because, I mean, I can think of other stories that Oh, yes, in I mean, we flee during the sure, night. Sure, sure. The German came to the, to the, and just the village and everything. I mean, these were very difficult times. But those, those two things have stayed with me until today. Yeah, so it's... It, it. So that's that. What's something I'm teaching you that I don't realize? So much. You are, yeah, basically you're teaching me to how to be a grandmother. I'm gonna do everything that you're doing, hopefully. Well, that's what I tell people, you know, who sometimes want, you know, comment about the closeness that I have. It's an investment yeah. that I decided to do, that to put myself in from the moment your sister was born. Yeah. That I wanted to be part of your lives from the moment you were born. I think a lot of grandparents also want that but you executed it in a way that came without spoiling. You weren't that grandparent figure that I see in movies often. You were, you were so much more. You are so much more. Why do you love me? <laughs> Why, honestly? <laughs> Because you are lovable. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not a decision. It's not something that you think about, uh, that you, are you going to love? You know, it's, it's an instinct. It's a natural feeling of uh, seeing you for the first time. You know, that tiny little thing. I mean, it's not a decision, it's not, uh, it's just uh, an élan, you know. You know I don't speak French, right? Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm learn. learning, I'm learning, <laughs> okay. I promise, I promise. Okay. Sorry I took Spanish in high school. Hey guys, I'm really hoping you enjoyed that. Listen, if you'd like to see more from The Skin Deep, support us at our Patreon here. If you want to keep watching, we got a link right there.